hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm Baraka. guys if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe and click the notification bell so that whenever i upload new video you'll be notified guys thank you so much for all your support all your good comments all your good prayers may god bless you all and um, today i'm going to repeat this video is um how to make six pieces a uh, gown without cut on the half length is uh, is requested video from you guys somebody complained about it about the marking you can see that this fabric is uh, busy so somebody complained about the marking so i decided to make it again so but i'm still using the same fabric it's six years of uh, african print but it's under i want to uh, use lining to mark it on the lining so it's six years of uh, African fabric. I'm going to use six years, but I'm not gonna finish the six years. Actually, I will use like five years or five hundred. So, um, this one is the front part of it that I've already uploaded. I'm going to mark on the lining. How many years you will use depends on the length of the gown, and also how full you want it on the lower side, the A line on the lower side. And this uh, this uh, lining is uh, by forty five. And this side is six years. So you know African print is uh, by 45. Most African African print is by 45 and six, six years on this side. So the one I'm using but today is six years on this side and by 45 on this side. So I folded my fabric. This is the salvage. So I folded 10 inches. So how many inches that you put on fold, you fold depends on how full you want it. You can fold less, you can fold more. So, but what I folded today is 10 inches on fold, which is 20 inches. So, because it's on fold, that's why it's 10. So, now I'm going to put my measurement. So, this is the starting point. This line here is the starting point. I'll put the tape here. So, from that is shoulder line also. From my shoulder to 10 inches is my bust point. But I'll add half inch seam allowance, ten and half. To underboss is fourteen inches, but I'll add half inch, fourteen and half. My half length is seventeen inches, and uh, my hip line is a uh, twenty four inches, and this is that eight inches. This line is that eight, that eight inches is uh, my knee length measurement from shoulder to knee length. But it's not actually my knee length, it's two inches above my knee. So two to three inches above your knee. So now, um, this line is... Um, so this line to my knee length is uh, my boss pan measurement. Is a nipple to nipple measurement from one nipple to the other one. Um, my bust palm measurement is a nine inches plus one inch seam allowance is ten. Ten divided by two is five. Um, nine. My bust palm is nine inches. Nine inches divided by two is four and a half. Plus half inch seam allowance is five inches. So this is five inches. From this line to the edge, from edge here to this line is five inches, five inches to my knee length. So I'm going to mark the darts. On this side, I'll mark one inch. On the boss point, I will not mark any any darts. On the under boss, I'll mark um. On the under boss, I'll mark one and half but you can mark one inch if you want one inch is okay and uh, one one quarter is okay it depends on how you want it but if you really want to pad it very well you mark one and half so i'll mark one and half here on my waistline i'll mark um i'll mark a uh, one inch on my waistline but if you if you have flat tummy you can mark this one and half, you'll mark it on your waistline and you will also mark it on your knee length. For now, we don't need a hip measurement. I will need hip measurement on the other side when I'll cut the side one. I don't need it here. So now I'll mark, but for someone that have big tummy, you can you'll mark one inch. 
So I'll mark one inch here. One inch here also. This is my knee length. So I'll connect it. Um, this is bust point. I'll come up by half inch. So I'll connect it now. So this is um under bus. I'll connect it like this with this uh, French curve. And from under bus to west line, I'll connect it from here to this west line. This is under bus, this is west line. So from this west line, I'll connect it to my knee length. So here you will curve this place so that it will not be sharp and the bust point also. Um, the length of the dress is 59 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance is 60. So from shoulder to this line is 60. So um, I'm using a tripod stand to cover this video. So that's why I decided to finish the upper part first before the lower part because the positioning of my camera will not cover all at the same time so now i want to work on the lower part here but the only thing to do here is just to connect it from this one inch on my knee length to the hem side that's the only thing we will do here then we'll cut it okay so now i'm going to connect it this is one inch and this one is the boss palm measurement minus one inch so this is one inch here so i'll connect it to the hem So now I'm going to cut it out. I pinned it before cutting. I pinned it. Okay, I'll call this a uh, starting point. So this is this. I've cut it. This is the center front. So what I'll do now is to fold another fabric to call the two side one. But this fabric will not. This one. This one will not be enough for me to cut the two side one. I can only use it to cut only one side one. Because you remember that this one is 10 inches on fold, which is 20 inches. And then um, if I should cut the side one, the two side one together, I'll put 20 inches on fold, which is 40 inches. 
20 for this side and 20 or more for this side. 20 or more for this side. So I'm going to cut this one off and um, get another fabric to cut my side one. So but this one, I will use this one to cut my center back. It will be enough for my center back. I've folded another fabric to cut the two side one. And this one is the one that will just cut the center one. And uh, this is starting point. And this line is a chest line, half of my round arm hole. My round arm hole is an 18, divided by 2 is 9. Um, this is my waist line from shoulder to 17 inches. And this is hip line from shoulder to 24 inches. And this one is my knee length from shoulder to my knee, 2 inches above my knee, so that uh, 2 to 3 inches above your knee, so that you can walk freely. Um, then 60 inches full length. So, but we're going to work on this side first. So, I'm going to put this um, center one, center front, you see? I'm going to turn it like this. You see? I'll turn it like this. Okay, so I'm going to take the measurement, I pin it, so I'll shake what I have on this one, then I'll take the measurement, so on the shoulder, I'll start from the shoulder, on the shoulder, I have a 4 inches, so that 4 inches, I'll put it on this, this center one on the edge here, I'll put the 4 here, I'll put 4 inches here, my shoulder is 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Plus three inches similar, two inches similar allowance. So from this similar allowance, I'll come down to chest line. I'll just curve it for now but when I finish uh, joining when I finish joining it I'll now cut my neckline my shoulder slant and reshape my um, front arm hole so for now I'll curve it like this so um, my now I'm going to take my bust measurement my bust is 46 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half I'll shake what I have on this one I have five inches and that five inches I'll put it on the edge here I'll put my tape like this this is five inches I have similar video on my channel how to make six pieces blouse without pattern It's the same video is only that this one is dress long dress and um, six pieces dress if you you would on your waistline from your waistline you connect it to the hem side but this one on your knee length you connect it to the hem side that's the only difference it's the same so um my boss is um 46 46 divided by four is 11 and a half so i have five inches here i put it on the edge here 11 and a half here plus three inches to my allowance Here is my waist. I'll shake what I have there. I have four inches on my waistline. So I'll put it on the edge of this center uh, one here. Four inches here. My waist is 40. 40 divided by four is 10. 10 inch here. Plus three inches same allowance. This is my hip line. My hip is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. So, I'll shake what I have here on my hip line. I have 4 inches also. So, I'll put it on the edge here, this center front. I'll put 4 inches here. And then 11 and a half. 3 inches same allowance. And a half. 
So this is my knee length. And on my knee length, I'll minus one. You can minus one, you can minus one and a half. You know when you're making like pencil skirt, you know on the lower part you minus something, maybe one or one and a half. Depends on how curved you want it, or when you're making six pieces skirt also. So now I'll minus one on the knee length. So my hip is 46. I'll check what I have here. I have four inches also here. So that four inches, I'll put it like this. My hip is a uh, 46. 46 divided by 4 is um sorry. Yeah, my hip divided 46 divided by 4 is 11 and half. Minus 1, because I want to minus 1 is 10 and a half. So I'm going to mark 10 and half here. Plus 3 inches. So I'll connect all this seam allowance. From this seam allowance, I'll connect it to the lower part. I'll connect it and show you. I've connected it from um, chest line. I connected it to the waist line. From the waist line, I connected it to hip line. From hip line, I use straight uh, ruler to connect it to the to my knee length. And all these are seam allowance knee length. So from this knee length, I will connect it to the end of the dress, to the lower part of the dress, the gown. So I'm going to cut it now. I'm going to cut it like this. Like this. Like this. To this side. Then I'll cut all this side. Then this side also, I'll cut this side, the same shape. I'll cut it and show you. Okay, I've cut it, you can see. I've cut it. So, you can see I've cut it, and this one also, but please, when you're cutting this side, make sure that you cut the same with this center one, the center front, the same here, because this side is your nipple to nipple measurement here, so make sure you cut it the same. So, this is the front one. I'm going to fold another fabric to cut the back one. I'll use the other one to cut the center back. So this is what we we'll have. This is um, one side one. This is the center one. Can see it from this is the center one, the one that I folded into to 10 inches, so it's 20 inches on this side, and this one also. This is the other side one, so it's 20 inches or more, maybe 22 inches because I folded by 45 into two. So it's 22 inches or so, 22 and a half. So I want to cut um, the back one. And this is the one that I want to use to cut the center back. The remaining one from the center front. The remaining fabric from the center front. I want to use it to cut the center back. So I put it on fold. You can see it's on fold. Um, I folded 11 inches. You remember that on the front side, I folded 10 inches. So here I folded 11 inches on the back one. Because of one inch, um, this is one inch, it's for zip allowance. This side is for zip allowance. That's what made it 11, and 11 inches. Okay, so this line is a um, guideline. This is um, 9 inches, that starting point. And this is waistline, this is hip line, and this one is knee length, my knee length. 
2 inches above my knee, 38 inches. And this one is 24 inches hip line. And waistline is 17 inches from shoulder. And uh, this one is 9 inches from shoulder. And this is 38 inches from shoulder. And this is the length of the dress, 60 inches from the shoulder. So now I'm going to mark my, my boss palm measurement, which is a nipple to nipple measurement. My boss palm measurement is um, 9 inches divided by 2 is 4 and half plus plus a half inch allowance is 5 inches so I'll mark 5 inches from this zip allowance to somewhere the, to 5 inches you can see I put 5 on the zip allowance so I'll mark 5 inches to my knee length from my shoulder to my knee length I'll mark 5 inches I'll mark it and show you so this is uh, my ball span measurement from this line to this line is 5 inches. This is 5 inches. So now I want to mark my dart. So on the west line, I will mark half inch. So this is hip line. I will come up by 2 inches. So this is that starting point, 9 inches, I'll connect it to this waistline here, this half inch. Then from that half inch, I'll connect it to this one. But if you like, you can connect it to this point. But I prefer to do it like this. Okay, so this side is the ham side. On this west line, this is west line, this line, on the zip side here, I'll come in by half inch to reduce the puff. So I'll connect it from this uh, starting that starting point to here and to somewhere here, this line. So now I'll mark my zip allowance from this line, that half inch, I'll mark one inch, I'll measure one inch and mark my new zip line. This is my new zip line from this half inch that I marked. I came in by half inch on the west line. So from there, I'll measure one inch again, my new zip line. So I'll trim this one off. This is my new zip line to, to reduce the puff. So now I'm going to connect it to the lower part of the gown. From knee length here, I'll connect it.
So I'm going to cut it now. Then I'll fold another fabric to cut the two side one. So I've used um, 60 inches times two. This is the first 60 inches that I used to cut the front, uh, center front and the center back. Then I used another 60 inches to cut the um, side front, the two side front. So now I'm going to mark um, another 60 inches. I'll put it on fold to cut the two back side. So now I'm, um, what I'm going to use is 360 inches. 3 times 60 is 180. And 180 divided by 36, because 36 is yard, is um, 1 yard is a 36, is 5. 180 divided by 36 is 5, so it's 5 years. So I'm going to use the 5, year, five years to cut the gown, the dress. But if you want to use, um, if it's sleeveless, 5 years is okay. If you want to put just a small sleeve, 5 years is okay. But if you want bigger sleeve, then you from the one yard remaining because it's six years from the remaining one yard you will now cut your sleeve from that one yard so what i'm going to use today is five plus <laughs> so i'm going to cut it i'll cut it on this line So, on this side, I will open this zip allowance. So on this side, I'm going to trim this off. This is my new zip line from this half inch. I came in by half inch on the waist line on this on this side. From there, I connected it from um, from where the start that starts to this half inch on the waist line, and from there, I connected it to here where the that uh, stop also the stop point. So and now I now measure one inch from that line. Is my new zip allowance, so I'll trim it. So I'll cut off the starting point, I'll trim it, the starting point. So this is the center back. Folded this one to cut the two center back. So this is the third 60 inches that I'm folding. I've folded them. Um, I've folded this to cut 
two center back. You know, this side is by 45 and this side is six years. So, and um, this is the third one that I'm using now. And um, this one by 45, I folded it into two. So I have, I will have about maybe 22 and a half or 22 inches on this side. Let me see. Because some of them are not up to 20, 45. It's 22 inches. So it's by 44. So, you know that the center front, I folded 10 inches on fold, which is 20 inches. So, um, the side front and side back will be 20, one side will be 20 inches and or more. And the other side will be 20 inches or more. So this one now, I have 22 inches on this side and I'm cutting, it's folded into two because I'm cutting two uh, back one. So uh, this line is um, my shoulder line, which is starting line, starting point line. And this line is chest line, half of my round arm hole. My round arm hole is 18, 18 divided by two is nine. And this one is a waist line from my shoulder to this one is nine inches. And from my, I mean, this is chest line. And from my shoulder to, uh, waistline is 17 inches and from my shoulder to my hip line is 24 inches and from shoulder to my knee length 2 inches above my knee so that I can walk freely is um 38 inches and 60 inches is the full length of the gown so I marked 60 inches down there so but I will concentrate on this side first one center back on top of this to cut the two side back so I've pinned my zip allowance. I've pinned it so that I can take the measurements. So I'll turn it like this. I'll turn it like this. So now I'll pin it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my measurements. This is my shoulder line. I'll shake what I have here. Then I'll continue with the measurements. So on the shoulder line here, I have five inches. And that five inches, I'll put it on the edge. You can see this center back, I'll put it on the edge here, five inches here. So my shoulder is 16, 16 divided by two is eight. So I'll mark 8 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance, I'll mark 10 here. So this is chest line. I'll shake what I have here. I have 5. I'll put it on the edge here, this center back on the edge here. I'll put this five inches here. So my, I'll take, I'll mark my bust measurement on this line. My bust is 46, 46 divided by four is 11 and a half. So this is 11 and a half plus 30 inches seam allowance. So this is my waist line. I'll check what I have there. I have four and a half on my waistline, I'll put it, at the four and a half, I'll put it on the edge here. Um, my waist is 40, 40 divided by four is 10. Plus 30 inches seam allowance. This is my hip line. My hip is 46, 
46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. I'll check what I have here. I have 5 inches. I'll put it on the edge here. 5 inches. So, 11 and a half here. And 3 inches. 3 inches is my allowance here. So, this is my knee length. So this is my knee length. Here I will minus um, one inch on my knee length. So I will check what I have here. I have five. So I will put the tape like this. Five inches on the edge here. Then my hip is um, 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. Minus one. Minus one because uh, you know when you're making cross bracket or sixty six skirt, so I'll minus one here on my knee length. So I'll mark ten and half. Eleven and half minus one is ten and half plus three inches in allowance. Thirteen and half. Yeah. So from this same allowance I'll connect it to the lower part, the and um, um, the hem side, the length of the dress. So I'll connect all this one, all this line, the same allowance. I'll connect it. So on this side, my armhole, this is the same allowance for, this is seam allowance. I'll connect it like this. And from there, I'll just connect my armhole like this. After joining, I'll now reshape my armhole. So I'll connect from this chest line to this one, um, waist line, from this waist line to this hip line, the same allowance, all this one is the same allowance. Then I'll connect it to this uh, knee length, and the knee length is the same allowance. For the knee length, I'll co connect it to the lower part, the hem side, and the length of the dress. So I'll do that and show you. So I've connected the line, this is shoulder line, this is armhole, from this chest line I connected it to chest line, the seam allowance, I connected it to the waist line, seam allowance, then to the hip line, seam allowance, I also connected it to the knee length, seam allowance, from this knee length, seam allowance, I now connected it to the lower part of the dress, the, the uh, full length of the dress. So now I'm going to cut it. So on this side, I'm cutting these two side, um, the, the two back sides. Okay, this is a starting point. I'll cut it off. So, so this is what we have. Um, this is 
center back, center back. This is where the zip will be. And this one is the, the dart, where I cut out the dart. This is one side of center back, one side of side back. And this one is one side of uh, center back. And you can see this is zip allowance, where the zip will be. So, this one, this two is the same as uh, the, other, this two, the other two. So, this is um, where I cut out the darts. So, this is it. Center back. One center back. And one center, one side back. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumb up. Thank you so much for all your support. Bye, guys.